Hello, my name is Juan Mejia with New Blue FX, and today I'm gonna show you how to make an intro title card in Titler Pro 5. Last time, we made a main title from our holiday sale video that you can find here on our YouTube channel. And this time, we're gonna make an intro title card from that same video. It looks something like this. First off, I'm gonna import an abstract background to give my title some energy. I'm going to use this one, but you can use any abstract background that you have readily available. This will actually give our title some visual interest. I'm going to import it into Titler Pro 5 by going to File, Import, Video. Once I've got it all set up, I'm going to set its opacity to 47. Then, I'm going to add a few stylizers to this background. First off, I'm going to go to Effects, Stylizers, and add an RGB Shift with the All Messed Up preset. After that, I'm going to add Halo Vision Plus and choose the Vibrant Texture preset. That's looking pretty good, but I want to give it a little bit more substance, so I'm going to add a new shape, scale it up, and create a new gradient. I'm going with a 3 color gradient, going dark on either end, and ever so slightly less in the middle. After that's done, I'm going to go place that paragraph at the bottom of the timeline. Next, I'm going to add some text by clicking on the Add Text button. Then I'm going to change the text to say Featuring, and select the CF John Doe font from the text toolbar. After that, I'm going to change the color to yellow. I'll leave a link to this font in the description below. Next up, I'm going to position it where I want it. I'm going to go ahead and use the crosshairs for this and then add a style layer to the shadow to make the font stand out from the background just a little bit. Now it's time for some animation. I want to add some cool transitions to make my title come in more fluidly, so I'll head over to my library and look for the light ring transition. Once there, I'll apply the glow stick preset to the beginning of my clip. I'm going to make the text appear as the light ring goes through my screen, so a simple fade and transition will do it for me. All I have to do now is retime my paragraphs in the timeline so they come right in where I want them, and set end transitions. I'm going to do this by copying the end transition and pasting it as an end transition on each paragraph. You can do this by right clicking on each paragraph. Don't forget to check the reverse checkbox button on the end fade in transition. This will actually make your transition start from the left and then on the right. And there it is, a very dynamic and energetic title card. I like to use this for main titles and to introduce people's names, but it can actually fit any project. For more resources and tutorials, visit newbluefx.com tutorials. This has been Juan Mejia with New Blue Effects, and I'll see you next time.